Here to present the second company of the year and the final award of the evening is James Hatton, partner from Ferris. James? Thank you very much, Wendy. Um, <clears throat> thank you for this very inspiring evening and the wonderful job you and your team have done to bring it off. So thank you. I'd also like to thank the uh, Board of Life Sciences BC, not the current one, which I'm sure is fine, but uh, <laughs> the one that refused to hire Noel Hall. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, fellow adventurers in the wild ups and downs of the world of life sciences, I'm here on behalf of Ferris. My partners, Hector Mackay Dunn and Peter Roth, are here with us tonight to introduce the very final speaker in a few minutes. <laughs> Ferris got its start giving legal advice to life sciences companies in 1986 when QLT went public. QLT got to know Hector because he was acting against them. <laughs> but they liked the cut of his jib, and so do I. So we've been working in life sciences ever since. Uh, and we've gone through a lot of ups and downs, and I'd like to mention a few words. Uh, Hama just mentioned how lucky we all are. And Peter Zanstra says you have to be thrilled by the work you do, and I think to stay in life sciences, you really do have to be thrilled with the ups and downs. But for all the ups and downs, I doubt any of the people in this room would choose a different path. Our mission is to help people when they need it most. The stakes are nothing less than alleviating human suffering. And while Peter and Hector and I are not doctors or scientists, we like to think we've helped a bit along the way. And through each of your journeys, we've, uh, we've walked alongside you. We've helped secure the way with you. We've, we've celebrated your victories, and we've mourned your defeats. But we, we want to thank you for putting your trust in us, and we're very grateful to be here celebrating with you tonight. Okay, the second company of the year award recognizes life sciences companies in BC who whose accomplishments set them apart over the last year. This includes reaching major milestones, such as moving the business from an early stage to a more mature company, or by raising significant funds, launching a product on the market, or making strides in commercial success. This year's second winner of the company of the year award is Xenon Pharmaceuticals, Inc. Xenon Pharmaceuticals is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company committed to providing a bright future for patients suffering from neurological disorders. It's advancing a robust pipeline of neurology-focused therapeutics with a focus on commercializing novel treatments for epilepsy. Building upon the positive results and compelling data from their Xen 1101 Phase 2B XTOL study in adult patients with focal epilepsy, their Zine 1101 Phase 3 Epilepsy Program includes studies in adult patients with focal onset seizures and primary generalized tonic clonic seizures. In addition, Zine 1101 is being evaluated as a treatment for major depressive disorder in both a company-sponsored Phase 2 trial as well as an investigator-led proof-of-concept study. Please enjoy this video that highlights why Xenon Pharmaceuticals is a 2023 Company of the Year. We had a real breakthrough at Xenon at the end of 2021 with our lead program. It's called XCN 1101. We were in a phase 2B clinical trial called the XTOL study. And when we unblinded the data, we found that XCN 1101 was statistically significant 
on all seizure reduction endpoints at all doses tested. So these are patients that had epilepsy for more than 20 years. On average, they had either failed or were on nine different anti-seizure medicines, and they were still having a seizure every other day. And the feedback we're now getting from these patients and from their physicians is a whole new level of independence. They're working more, they're spending more time with their family and friends, and it's really improving their quality of life. So we're very excited as we look forward about the potential to treat brain disease, uh, neurological diseases like epilepsy, uh, mental illnesses like depression, uh, very, very common conditions for which good treatments have not really been available. We're going to change that, we're changing that, and for me this is what drives our business. So today for our lead product, XCN 1101, we're in a global phase three clinical program. So we're running two phase three clinical trials in focal epilepsy, that's the most common form of epilepsy. We also have a phase three clinical trial ongoing in primary generalized tonic-clonic seizures, what we used to call the grand mal seizure. So if we're successful over the next few years, we'll get through that phase three program, we'll get XCN 1101 approved in multiple jurisdictions, and really help a number of patients globally with epilepsy. After many years of challenges, we're at a very exciting juncture where this is an incredibly robust and healthy community. Companies are doing well. We've been able to secure capital, build businesses uh, that are having major impacts on patients. And so there's a huge amount of optimism that I have uh, about this community and our role has been just one part of a very vibrant and flourishing uh, industry here in this province. And Xenon really has deep roots in the Vancouver area. We were founded here more than 20 years ago. We now have employees in three Canadian provinces. We have an office in Boston. We're in more than six U.S. states. So on behalf of the entire Xenon team, this is a really wonderful award. It's great to be recognized by your peers and recognized in the local community. The potential of our lead product 1101 for treating epilepsy and depression I think it's exceptionally exciting and for us this is really the difference that I think the company can make for patients and their families. Please help me in welcoming Ian Mortimer, President and CEO of Xenon Pharmaceuticals, to accept the award. Um, it's, it's lovely to be introduced by, by, an, by an old friend, and um, thanks to you and, and Hector and Peter and the Ferris team. We really appreciate the sponsorship. Um, I'd also like to recognize all of the sponsors here tonight, uh, and also LSBC. Uh, you guys put on a wonderful event and an evening of celebration. And congratulations to all of this year's award recipients. So uh, on to Xenon. How much time do we have? Lots, yeah. Um, well, it's been quite a journey. So for those that don't know, Xenon was founded out of academic research more than 20 years ago when Michael Hayden and Simon Pinstone and Frank Holler, who are all here tonight, created Xenon. And this is a company that has made significant contributions to advancing our understanding of genetics and human disease, has validated targets that the scientific community can leverage, has created a world-class ion channel research and drug discovery team, and advanced multiple molecules into human clinical testing. Just a few months before I joined Xenon 10 years ago, Simon was on this stage accepting this award for Xenon being company of the year in the spring of 2013. In these past 10 years, we've failed a lot. We've learned a ton. We've overcome a huge number of setbacks, but we've always stayed true of being science and data driven and running the right experiment to either progress or kill a molecule and always advancing our understanding of biology. This dedication and commitment allowed us to survive before we could succeed and put us in the position we're in today. We have the largest market capitalization of any biopharma company in Canada at over $3 billion Canadian. We raised over a billion dollars in capital over the past few years and we're advancing one of the most important molecules in epilepsy drug research over the past few decades with XCN 1101. 
One in 26 of us have a lifetime risk of developing epilepsy. And XCN 1101 has shown in clinical testing to significantly reduce seizure burden in the most common form of epilepsy and have a meaningful impact on patients' quality of life. Xenon has 250 employees today, but over 800 people have worked at Xenon at some point over the last two decades, including students and scientists, drug developers and business people, and are now contributing to strengthening our ecosystem in many different ways. And to the Xenon team here tonight, this group of 20 at these two tables has a combined approximately 250 years of commitment and service to Xenon. Together, we have lived the ups, we've lived the downs, and you deserve every minute of our success. I have the privilege of calling you my colleagues and calling you my friends. We're on a special journey together that can have a lasting legacy. I am convinced that XCN 1101 is gonna be such an important medicine that we will improve many patients' lives in the years and decades to come. So on behalf of all of us at Xenon, we very much appreciate the recognition tonight. Thank you. Thank you, James. Congratulations to the entire Xenon team. Nice to see so many of you here and, and to Ian.